Hey everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we explode the world of WordPress website building. In today's video, we are diving into a showdown between two giants which is Gutenberg and Elementor. Are you ready to witness the battle of the builders? Let's get started. Now, Elementor is the heavyweight champion of page builders. It's a powerhouse plugin that empowers users to design custom layouts with unparalleled flexibility and creativity. In that situation, it is a popular drag and drop page builder plugin for WordPress, known for its user friendly interface and extensive customization options. Now, here are some pros and cons because when you go here, in the Elementor website, they have a, a different website apart from being a plugin for WordPress. Now, say for example, you start with a uh, design. Now, the ease of use of Elementor offers a highly intuitive interface with a drag and drop editor, basically making it easy for users to create custom layouts without any coding knowledge. From here, you can customize all of this information. You can see the changes you make to your website in real time thanks to the Elementor's live editing feature. Now, this instant feedback speeds up the design process and allows for quick adjustments. And Elementor comes with a wide variety of pre-designed widgets and templates, which we are now using. Say, for example, you check the collection right here. Now, from this one, since it's a pre-designed widgets and templates, including headings right here, this one images down below buttons right here and sliders forms and more now this extensive library provides flexibility in designing your website right so for example you click on this add to cart as you can see you have all these widgets and slides that offers a large collection of pre-designed templates for various types of websites and sections saving you times and a lot of effort in their design process because as we all know you know uh artists get the uh thing called artist block now um if you are running out of uh, the creative juices for designing a website you might want to go here it makes lives easier because from here again you can customize every part of your website from coupon code including headers footers post templates all the information here are all customizable and even archive pages right here down below giving you a complete control over your site's design right now if you're interested to know more about elementor if you skip and start with a blank website what will happen is you will be redirected to this page wherein you can try the basic plan for one website that's going to be nine dollars per month and from here you can manage wordpress hosting elementor pro website builder now let me tell you that if you have the elementor pro for a website builder you can customize every part of your website because they have a thing called the theme builder wherein you have a single post templates archive pages once again giving you complete control over your site's design and the Elementor AI are on free trial. Of course, um, terms and conditions apply right here. Speaking about the writer's blog and the artist's blog right here, it's going to be a lot easier for you to put some description. They also offer an SSL and CDN from Cloudflare, their, which is their partner. They, of course, they have a 24-7 support via live chat or email. Um, in my case, I had a problem with my Elementor um, themes and what I did was contact the uh, support and they are responsive for the most part. And from here, they offer a generous 30-day money-back guarantee and all they're going to do, if you're interested, you might want to click on the buy now option here. But if you have already a hosting, say for example, you are powered for WordPress, you might want to click on the uh, plugin elementor plugin for wordpress now click on this one when you do that as you can see it's a different pricing so you might want to consider all these pricing before you dive into another commitment now the essential is like 59 dollars 
and for the most popular plan is going to be 99 dollars per month and it's up to you and again remember that the above prices do not include applicable taxes based on your billing address All right now let's head over to the next contender which is gutenberg now for those who are not familiar with gutenberg basically it's the name of the default wordpress editor introduced in the wordpress 5.0 okay and now um basically it replaces the classic tiny mce editor with a block based editor instead of a single field where you enter your content now if you go here at uh gotinter the wordpress uh, wordpress page building blocks it will allow you to create content using a variety of blocks each serving a different purpose now these blocks can be anything from paragraphs and headings to images galleries codes and a lot more and you can even custom blocks added by plugins or themes now when you click on the explore here option right here this is what i'm um, talking about you will have all of these essential features like highly customizable that's one thing it's fast loading pop-up options copy paste styles layout building typography and a lot more and as you can see we are we mentioned about these blocks and again you can make a lot of content from paragraphs images galleries codes plugins or themes right as i've told you you can do more with um gutenberg now if you wanted to get started what might want to click on the orange button here where in the gives you the pricing plans it starts with a 49 dollars per month that's going to be one site license but you get to have all of these perks and benefits that you can take advantage right now i am using the uh popular business plan for 149 dollars because um for my client right now it gives me the luxury of having a 55 premium template kits it it has to support for one year updates for one year and basically i wanted to get all the uh, pro features right now the thing is when you go to wordpress it all comes down to your needs and preferences because for one when you go for the plugins i believe that gutenberg excels in content creation and seamless wordpress integration right because as you can see all you're gonna do is download that plugin for your wordpress and from here you have again all these things that you can do like complete web page building blocks seo friendly and a lot more right here now if you have that option to your wordpress you might want to click on download while elementor offers unmatched design flexibility and customization options right here so if you are ready to put elementor to your wordpress you might want to click on the download button and that's that now you might also want to check the reviews for each platforms to help you make an informed decision you can also check the installation section right here so these are the minimum requirements wordpress 6.0 and these are the uh, php version and mysql version or, or whatnot and in terms of uh, the development and contributors right here you can get some information because you know sometimes the small um data or information is necessary for you to decide which is better and again as i've as always it depends again on your preferences and needs because we believe that Gutenberg is really ideal for basic content cre creation within WordPress, while Elementor is more suitable for users who require advanced design capabilities and want to create a custom layout for their website. But remember, some users may even use to choose both because um, I'm doing it right now. I am leveraging Gutenberg for content creation and Elementor for designing custom pages and layouts of course you have to take consider the pricing your budget and of course your goals because if you're contributing with a team for a project you might want to take that in mind all right
And there you have it, folks. The showdown between Gutenberg and Elementor. Which one will you choose for the next WordPress project? Let us know in the comments below. And again, do not forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more WordPress tips and tutorials. And until next time, happy building. See you in the next video.